Right. Both teams very, very confident with their answers. Excellent. Doesn't have to be bubbled in perfect as long as I can read it. All right. Second grade question. In what century was George Washington born? Is it the 15th, 16th, 17th, or 18th century? All right. Blue team got their answer locked in. Red team's got it locked in. All right. Third grade. How do bees communicate the locations of flowers to one another? They speak, they dance, they buzz, they follow other bees. Fourth grade, which of the following states does not observe daylight savings time? Is it Arizona, Ohio, Indiana, or Alaska? Who would have thought you can just choose not to do it? And finally, our fifth grade question. The modern day city of Istanbul was known by what name in the 13th century? Was it Gibraltar, Constantinople, Mesopotamia, or Ottoman? Here we go with grading. We do have some different answers, so I am very excited to see what's going to happen. First grade, which of these is not one of the seven dwarves? All right, the blue team said D, bashful. <laughs> the red team said B, wheezy. <laughs> All right, and the correct answer is B, wheezy. Hey, bashful! <laughs> Washington born. All right, the blue team said B, the 16th century. The red team said C, the 17th century. The correct answer is D, the 18th century. No one getting that one right. That's all right. All right, how do these communicate the locations of flowers to one another? Well, they do in fact buzz, but the correct answer is they dance. What? You never see a video of it. It's some crazy stuff. All right. Which of the following states does not observe daylight savings time? The correct answer is A, Arizona. Hawaii as well chooses not to observe it. All right. Finally, the modern day city of Istanbul was known by what name in the 13th century? Can I get a drum roll for our final question? The correct answer is B. Yeah, Blue team has a D, still kind of a passing grade. Nope. Red team got a C. Let's right. apply those points right up here. Great job. Thank you so much for your patience as I do this. Yeah, you got it? Hey, yeah. You got it. And the thing is, oh, ooh, looking cool with the shades. Yes, sir. <laughs> Uh, thank you for your patience, and in fact, patience is the name of the game in our next game. This is Wait For Me. In Wait For Me, the host will reveal a target time on the board. An alarm will then sound. Each player will wait the specified amount of time, then hit their buzzer. The player to buzz in closest to that round's target time, either above or below, wins 500 points for their team. The goal is simple. The waiting is hard. Good luck. All right, good luck indeed, my friends. You're going to see in front of you some beautiful glowing buzzers. We're going to put five seconds up here on the board. So what's going to happen is when you hear this sound, that'll be your cue to begin counting. And when you think it's been about five seconds, you're going to hit that buzzer. Whomever is the closest will win the points for their team. Here we go. Alright, wow. let's see what happens. Our winner right here, 4.71. Paul, great job. There's a shade. Excellent. Alright, we're going to put those points up there for the blue team. Great work. Now we know what we're doing. We're going to go on for 10 seconds. I used to be a rep. 10 seconds. Oh, Jenny Lovegirl said that. Oh, yeah, that's amazing. Alright, whenever you hear the time, you can start counting. Alright, very interesting. 
Interesting. Let's see what happened here. Oh, right. <laughs> oh good, Let's go, Creek Green! Let's go, Creek Green! Cut it, you can't count past 15 or what? <laughs> Incredibly close to where those points of the red team right up there. All right, great job, everyone. No great problem. Job. I think it's time now for a little bit of luck. This is Spin Out. In Spin Out, teams will take turns spinning the giant wheel. Whenever a team lands on a space with points, that wedge then becomes a losing all space. Each team will be given a maximum of five spins, but can stop at any time and take their points with them. Play continues until both teams have either taken their full amount of spins or chosen to stop. All right, everyone, please give me a round of applause for a great big wheel. So beautiful. Yay. All right. So what's going to happen is we are going to start off with the blue team. And the blue team is going to give this a nice big spin as long as it goes around once. That's all we need. And let's say that it lands on this 2,000 space. I'm going to award you 2,000 points, of course. But then this becomes a lose-it-all space, just like these ones. So the game gets a little scarier as we go. You can choose to stop, though, at any point. You don't have to take all five spins, but you can if you would like. All right, my friend, if you want to start us off. Giving a nice big spin for our first one. All right. We have 2,000 and 1,000 points. A lot of points. Why are you spinning so hard, Rafa? I'm in the arcade still. Perfect. That's all right. Oh, Rafa, lose it all. Good spin, Rafa. All right. Good spin, Rafa. Oh, getting past that lose it all. Let's see if we get to 500. All right. Good job, Lucy. 500 points. All right. Now this guy's on fire. He's not happy about it. All right, red team. Like your turn to give it a spin. Go the other way. I like it. Great so job. Like All right. Still not too bad. Seven fifty, baby. Uh oh. Seven fifty, baby. Seven fifty, baby. Oh, two fifty. Oh. All right. Not too bad. Oh. Not too bad. <laughs> this guy's just mildly annoyed. All right. <laughs> All right, blue team. Give it a spin. Oh God. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Ooh, getting past that loser. 500, 500, 500. 500, all right. Not too shabby, looking pretty good. Oh, now we got a little sad guy. All right. Red team, giving it a spin. Now there are five loser dolls up on the board, going around. What's all right? Very good. So sorry, Red Team. But don't worry, you still have three spins left. That's a good spot to be. All right, Blue Team. One more spin. You got it. Very good. <laughs> that was a lovely spin. No. Was it No! Red team going with their third spin. So that five lose it all is not too bad. Oh, 100. All right, not too bad. Better than nothing, for sure. All right, blue team, might as well spin. 100. All right. That's a little bit of points. Not bad, not oh. bad. All right, red team. It's so nice and gentle with the great big wheel. I appreciate it. All right. Oh, 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 yeah. yeah. Two thousand points. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Oh, he's so sad. By the way, Ready? just hey, just not to make you feel worse. You can't get the same points as us now. That's all right. There's still no, you plenty can't. of points up there. Nope. Plenty of games. Uh huh. Uh-uh. Oh. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> Bye, Kaya! Oh, 750! Very good! Alright, this is where our teams are. Looking like tally those points right up there. Alright, not too bad. That is the luck of the drama. This is our time to get serious, Blue Team. We gotta block out the competition. <laughs> Create an unbreakable chain. This is Blockchain. In Blockchain, Teams will answer trivia questions to connect their team's color across the board. 
The red team must form a chain connecting the top to the bottom, while the blue team must form a chain from left to right. A trivia question whose answer starts with the letter of the space selected will be asked to everyone. If a contestant buzzes in and they answer correctly, <laughs> their team receives 100 points. That space will light up with their team color and they may select another letter. If they answer incorrectly, they themselves will be locked out and anyone else can then buzz in with the answer. The first team to connect their color across the board receives 1,000 bonus points. That's right, everyone. This is blockchain. We're going to see how well we know our trivia. Here we go with the letter V. Originally, it meant the flesh of any game animal. What is the name for deer meat? Deal. Incorrect. I'm looking for very specific answers. Right. The correct answer is venison. Oh my goodness, I'm saying the next one. That's all right. <laughs> all right, still the letter V, but moving on to our next question. What is the smallest member of the string musical family? Oh crap. That's not um, it. Violin. That is correct! Oh, yeah. 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 Blue yeah. team, good work. B, all right. What animal hunting method means to spring or swoop suddenly to catch prey? What animal hunting method means to spring or swoop suddenly? Counts. That is correct! Yeah. 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 Let's do it! Let's do it! Good work! All right, where are we going next? F. The letter Please. F. All right, oh, so polite. Thank you. All right. What now largely unused communication machine is actually older than the telephone. That is correct! <laughs> let go, let go, let go! Let's go! Uh, a, please. Letter A. Brass being the most common of these, what is a substance called if it combines multiple metals or metals and non-metals together? That is correct! Yeah, it's not it's not it's not working. It's not working! It's not working. It's not working. It's not working. Jamie's a master of trivia. It was because you had hit it before. No, 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 hit. So oh, it's not working. Okay, we're going to try a test real quick. Yeah, do a test run. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're working out. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. All right. If they get this right, they will win the game, win this round. Those who push their bodies during their work day can claim they put in a hard day of what? Labor. Labor is correct! Famous ones include Buck, Fester, and Jesse. What is the name for your dad's brother? Uncle! Uncle! That's oh, correct! <laughs> 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 that we were there at the same time. That was crazy. That was faster. Alright, red team. <laughs> All right, next question, still the letter S. What S means to dwindle due to cold, or is also a sign? Incorrect. What S word means to dwindle due to cold, or is also a slang term for a psychiatrist? Shrink. That's correct. Great job, Blue Team. All right. Where are we going next, Blue Team? D. D, all right. What negative and foreboding word is often associated with and gloom? Doom. Doom is correct. Great job. <laughs> All right, where are we going, Blue Team? Right, Jamie, we're N. The letter N. All right, this will be the, the game for them if they can get it right. What name is shared by a captain of a Jules Verne story and an orange and white striped fish with an injured fin? Nemo. That's correct. Yeah! hair grown above the upper lip. Mustache. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Over here, baby. Vessel. Right here. Daddy's here, baby. Daddy's here, Kaya. All right. Where next, Red Team? Jay. Jay. All right. This will be the winning one if you can get it correct. Named after the chief deity of the ancient Roman religion, what is the largest planet in our solar system? Jupiter. That's yes. correct. Oh! Oh my gosh! Incredible! I know that was a crazy one. I didn't know.
All right, whew, that was a really close game. I think we need to take a little stretch. I think I'm gonna get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little really stretch nice. of the wind. <laughs> and then take those hands and brush those chips off your shoulder because it's yet. time for chip shot. All right, I've got right here some chips and we're gonna take turns dropping them. So what's gonna happen, the only rules when you drop these is you must drop them above the top layer. And if they, at any point they fall out or they stop dropping, you're just gonna take it out, drop it again. All right, this time we are going to start with our red team, and whoever would like to go first can drop creepy, creepy, this chip, half chip right there. Oh, We're going to keep going over that's all right. Oh, sorry. Yeah, they're fine. <laughs> I agree. All right, dropping it at the very top. Here goes the red half chip. Wherever it lands will be awarded half of those points. There's a lot of points to be had up here. 100. All right. Not too shabby. 50 points. Good start. All right, blue team. Whoever would like to drop the half chip. And let me know if you need me to move, friends. Okay. All right, blue team dropping that half chip. Oh, Rafa, wrong way. Here it goes. Zero. All right. Sorry, blue team. That's all right. The other ones are worth a lot more points. This right here is the charity chip. This is going to show us how friendly we are. You're going to give these points to the other team. So choose wisely. <laughs> all right, here goes the red charity chip. Making its way down. All right, 100. Not too charitable. We got a little bit of points up there, blue team. All right, how many points are we going to give back to them? How friendly are we feeling? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, oh yeah. That's all right. All right, the blue charity chip. Here it goes. 1,000. Oh, my gosh. That was so friendly, blue team. Bigger go home is right. All right, red team with the redo chip. Here it goes. Yes, 750. Go. That was a good choice. All right, blue team with the redo chip. Good. Oh, not right there, Rafa. All right, blue redo chip. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm so sorry, blue team. <laughs> wow, boy. All right, yeah, mateys, this be the pirate ship. Wherever this lands, you will steal those points from the other team. We're going to do some plundering. All right, here goes the red pirate ship, making its way down, stealing only what's up here on the board. Yeah. Stealing zero yeah. points. Yeah. All right, your points are safe, Moon Team. Let's see what we're going to steal back from them. They have plenty of points to go around right now. <laughs> All right, blue pirate ship. Oh, oh no, 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 I'm going to come around to each of you and ask your teams individually how much you would like to wager. You must wager between one point and as many points as you have right up here on the board. However, what's going to happen is we're going to drop them at the same time. That's the only way to really make it fair. And if it lands in a spot that already has a chip in it, you will double your wager. But if it lands in a spot with no chips in it, you will lose that wager. All right. Decide amongst yourselves, and I will come around to each of you to ask what you'd like to wager. All right, both teams deliberating. That's what we like to see. All right, you ready? All right, we've got it. Ooh. Blue team, we'll give you about 10 more seconds. 800, all right. Very good. All right, both teams decide who is going to drop. And put your chip at the top, but don't drop it just yet. You must drop them at the same time. Hey, Jamie, that's Jamie. I'm going to count us down, and when I say drop, that is your time. Three, two, one, drop. All right. Both teams making their way. We wanted to land in the spot. Oh! Blue team made their way to the red team. Did not. All right, come on back to your podium. Come on back. I'll show you what damage was done.
All right, blue team, you hit your wager, awarding you almost 3,000 points. Red team zero. missed. Zero. 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 points right up here. Blue team is taking the lead. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Yeah, great job, blue team. All right. Well, friends, we are coming towards the end of our show. We have exactly two games left. We're going to play some real... Fast-paced trivia. This is Ready, Bet, Go. All right, everyone, if you will open up drawer number four for me, and only drawer number four, think about what you find inside. You're going to find three chips and a board. You can spread that board out wherever you wish, but make sure it is at the bottom of your podium so the other team can't see. Very good. All right, so each of these chips is worth 250 points. So you can, if you're very confident, you might put them all on an answer and you might get 750 points. Or if you're unconfident, they can go wherever you wish. All right, we're going to start us off with our first one. Each question, when I reveal the answers, you will have 10 seconds to decide as a group where they're going to go. What was the last le letter added to the alphabet? Was it J, Z, or W? How to bet your chips. And you must bet all of them. There's no way to lose points, only to gain. All right, the red team is going all in on W. Very confident. The blue team is going two on W and one on Z. The correct answer is J. Wow. No team's getting points that time, that's all right. All right, next question. Which of these fast food companies saw the highest profits in 2021? Was it Pizza Hut, Subway, or Starbucks? Let's play some economics, shall we? All right, the team again covering their answers again. <laughs> All right. Both teams very confident. However, the blue team is going all in on Starbucks. The red team is going all in on Pizza Hut. All right, the correct answer is Starbucks. Yay! Fourteen billion dollars. Wow, can you believe it? I don't even know. All right, blue team, great job. Frappuccino on me after this. <laughs> Next question. The Asian delicacy known as bird's nest soup is made primarily of what? Is it bird's nests, fried noodles, or shredded cabbage? All right, both teams. Ready to go. All right, the red team is going all in on fried noodles. Delicious. Blue team is going one on fried noodles, two on shredded cabbage. The correct answer is bird's nest. It's made out of swift and saliva. Who would have thought? I've never had it, but we'll have to try it sometime. All right. How many total time zones are there on Earth? Is it 18, 26, or 37? We have a couple time zone questions. Isn't that fun? Blue team putting two on 18, one on 26. Red team doing this, the same thing almost, but one on 18, two on 26. The correct answer is 37. That's a lot of time zones. Where are they all? Okay. All right, this is our final question of Ready, Bet, Go. A lot of points up for grabs. All of the kings in a deck of cards are sporting sick mustaches, except for which one? The king of spades, the king of diamonds, or the king of hearts? All very stylish kings, I gotta say. I know, come on. <laughs> All right, blue team playing it safe, putting one on each. And the red team putting all three on the king of spades. This is our last question. Can I get a drum roll, please? The correct answer is the king of hearts. Oh, oh, yes. Great job, oh, team. Else. All right, my friends. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. Well, we have come to our final game. Whew. We're going to make this one a blast, though, because this is Blaster Blitz. <laughs> In Blaster Blitz, teams will use Nerf Blasters to shoot darts at targets on the screen. 
the blue team will shoot at the blue O targets, while the red team will shoot at the red X targets. Both teams will fire at the same time. If you hit the other team's targets, they will earn points. Aim carefully. That's right, everyone. This is Blasted Blitz. You can open up doors two and three for me. And make sure everyone has some safety goggles. Unless you're already wearing glasses and you don't have to. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> All right. Pick out a blaster and some darts, and I'm going to show you how these guys work. All right. You want to make sure that the sticky end of the dart is sticking out. And you're going to put it in this bottom smaller slot. Push it all the way in until it can't go anymore. And then pull on the lever at the bottom, bloop, and it'll click into place, and then you'll know that you're ready to go. All right, you're going to see a whole bunch of targets here on the screen. Make sure to choose, shoot the ones that are your color, otherwise you're giving points to the other team. All right, any questions? All right, here we go. Don't shoot until you see the word go, or your points won't come. Three, two, one, and go! All right, blue team already off to a head start with 250 points, but red team quickly catching up. Oh my goodness, with 500 points. All right, you have 60 seconds. Down to 40 seconds left. I'm gonna come through and sweep away some of these. There we go. All right, both teams almost tied. Oh my goodness. Oh, very skilled. 30 seconds left. All right, I'm gonna come through, clear these off. There we go. All right, 20 seconds left. I know it's not easy, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, blue team back in the lead with 3,700 points, but red team not too far behind. We have 10 seconds left. Last time, clean through. Three, two, one. All right, let's take a look at those points. Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Incredible. We're going to tally up those points. All right, friends. With 12,000 points, the winner of the Great Big Game Show. Give yourselves a round of applause. It is the Blue Team. Oh, my gosh. Incredible. Red Team, you were in the lead for half the game. That was amazing. Oh, my gosh.